Welcome to our YouTube channel where we focus on the mind, body, heart and spirit. We meditate every single day here, so if you are new, my name is Raphael, I'll be your guide and you might consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell for notifications as I will post more and more meditations every day and multiple times a day. I will also post the whole meditation transcript in the description to this video so if you want to read it or have a look at the contemplation prompt for today, then you're welcome to do so. You might also want to subscribe to my free weekly letter for tips and essays on meditation, spirituality, philosophy, self-transcendence and more. I will link everything you need, including ways to get in contact with me, in the description below the video. And now, let's begin. Make sure you won't be disturbed during the entirety of this meditation, approximately 20-25 minutes, but do give yourself a buffer of time at the end of the meditation and stay here until the end. At the end of the meditation I will give you an idea, a thought to contemplate on and to journal about, so make sure that you stay here. And also give yourself the opportunity after these meditations to simply sit in peace and stillness with this calm energy you've created for yourself and ponder on the important questions of life. Sit nice and straight, nice and tall, with dignity. Sit as you would if you were the best version of yourself. Give yourself the opportunity, the possibility to fulfill your potential. You can sit directly on the floor, you can sit on a chair, on a yoga block, on the edge of your bed, it doesn't matter. Shoulders far from the ears, imagining a string pulling you up from the top of your head. Chin in, chest out, slightly of course, don't exaggerate. Sitting naturally, finding your center of gravity. Finding your center means that you're able to hold yourself with no muscular effort. Your head is just on balance, on your neck, on your spine, with two sit bones, nice and comfortable, nice and centered. Close your eyes if you've not done so already. Before we start this meditation for transcendence, with a vibration as our guide, we will dedicate this session to someone or a group of people. It can be to anybody that you choose. In order to do so, very simply put your hands to the heart, either in a praying position or flat on the chest, whatever feels more natural, more comfortable to you. Deep breath in through the nose. And on the exhalation, we project our love, our gratitude and appreciation towards that person. Imagine that person receiving your dedication and feel that indeed you are not alone. You are not alone. I will now start with the vibration. It is a simple sound. You won't be able to hear it yet. It's very soft. And you will put your attention, your focus, gently and effortlessly on that sound once you find it. This sound will be our anchor so that our mind doesn't drift away effortlessly. When thoughts come in your mind, don't try to eliminate the thoughts and don't opine. Don't give your opinion, your judgments on these thoughts, on the meditation. Simply continue releasing the expectations, the outcome of this meditation enjoy the process and when you do find yourself thinking gently go back to the vibration putting it back on the foreground of your mind when the sound fades out and disappear let it resonate in your own mind for an extra few moments
you may now let go of the vibration. The meditation session is coming to an end. Ah, let it go. Take your time to get reacquainted to the sensations in your body. Whenever you feel like it, take a nice deep breath, open your eyes, stay there. Take your time to get reacquainted to the space you're in, to the environment around you. And before I let you go, I would like to share a thought with you, which is a very funny thought, really. If you were to tell a fish that water was part oxygen, part hydrogen, it would die of laughter. It's a very human thing to do, to try to think, figure things out. But sometimes we need to transcend the thought and go into the experience. What, what does a fish care about? The fish cares about swimming in the water. What the water is made out of is not of such importance for him. It might be even ridiculous that you try to find out. It's, it's, just, it's just water. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be curious. On the contrary, curious is a curiosity is a beautiful value, a beautiful virtue. And knowledge is important. But we need to find a balance so that we are not driven by our thoughts, by our minds, by our cravings and yearnings to learn more. It is important to also experience life with your guts, with your heart, with your soul, trusting your natural instincts. Being aware of that balance between mind thoughts, ideas, figuring things out and experiencing it. And I would like you to contemplate on this today and figure out where in your life should you not think but experience and feel. much for being here today for taking the time and giving yourself the opportunity the gift of being present in the moment of being calm of stillness and experiencing the core of who you really are remember that it doesn't matter if today was deep or not so deep it is all part of a process the important thing is to keep practicing and to make your mindfulness and meditative practices as consistent as you can. If you're interested, remember that you can have access to daily meditations with me, as well as other cool perks by becoming a supporter of Meditation with Raphael on Patreon. I highly recommend that you subscribe to my weekly letter that I send out once a week, where I share thoughts on meditation, mindfulness, self-transcendence, and living a great life, as well as news on the content I post on the podcast, on YouTube, and on the blog. You can sign up there for free directly on my website, www.raphaelwriter.com. Have a look at the links in the show notes for the Patreon page, the podcast, the links to the blog, the free weekly letter, and ways to get in touch with me. I always love hearing from you, so do not hesitate to send me a message on Twitter or Instagram, or directly on my email. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to share these meditations with anybody that might benefit from them, and until next time, remember that I see you, I feel you, and I appreciate you. Take care, bye-bye.